method of starting fire chemically. This uses a couple of products that are easily available. It's one of these I recommend having in, in any kind of emergency preparedness or first aid kit that you have because it's good for a lot for multiple purposes. It's legal, it's easily obtainable. Oops, I just got too much, but we'll make use of it nonetheless. <clears throat> I don't need all this stuff, but so that we can have a fairly noticeable fire. <clears throat> I can use brake fluid for this. I can also use the same glycerin, household glycerin that's in a lot of medicine cabinets. It has multiple uses. It's made from vegetables. This is a good chemical method because it's non-toxic in the fumes. You don't want to be ingesting this stuff. A few drops of glycerin onto the potassium permanganate, and voila, we have fire. That's a real nice method. It works in inclement weather. Of course, you have to kindle that now and, and get it going. Always a good way to start a fire quickly.